Hey everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and while it may look like I qualified in 4th place here, as usual there's a lot more to the story than that. This video is brought to you by Bruffy.com. This is my website where you can find all the info you need about me and my content from a fully documented catalogue of my videos with chronological playlists, two live streaming plans and much much more. Go straight there with a the link in the description and pinned comment. So as we get started in this first race, the main thing that might jump out to you is my position in the top left. How could I possibly be in 4th place but actually in 31st? Well let me explain. The maximum number of drivers allowed on track at once for this circuit is 35. When there's more than that, the drivers are split into two groups, with qualifying lap time determining whether you're in the A group or the B group. And quite simply, my qualifying time was bad enough that I was in the B group, and I qualified fourth in that group, no less. But how, I hear you ask, how could I go from a race winner a few months ago to qualifying seventh from last? Well, while you watch me, towards the end of this lap, get absolutely destroyed into the hairpin by someone who decided to use me as a brake, let me tell you. I went out in qualifying and I could basically tell straight away that the cart that I was given was pretty bad. I could mainly tell that because I got completely passed on the straight by someone else almost immediately. So after a couple of laps I came back into the pits and asked to change my cart. This is you know, a perfectly fine thing to do and as long as there's a legitimate reason it's absolutely fine so I was swiftly put into a different cart and sent back out to do the remainder of my qualifying. Now the second cart wasn't great either to be fair but it did seem at least a little bit of an improvement to the first one. So after qualifying I looked at my lap times and I was pretty surprised to see that I only had one lap time listed which was my first and only full lap in the first cart. After I queried it with race control, they admitted they made a mistake and forgot to assign my name to the new cart number. So all of my laps in that second cart that I changed into were simply not recorded. So my qualifying position came from my single first flying lap in the cart that I ended up changing and to be honest it's amazing I qualified ahead of anyone given how bad that cart was and that it was done on cold tyres without any time for improvement. But ultimately there was nothing I could do. There was nothing I could do, there was nothing they could do. I didn't have any times that suggested that I should be in the A group because I didn't have any times at all except that single one. 27 drivers were in the A group and I was one of the 10 in the B group. But I had a plan. The problem was that the plan hinged on me winning this first race and as you've just seen in the first few laps, even though I got back up to second relatively easily, all the bumping and barging early on set me quite far behind the current leader who'd managed to kind of get away. So I set about catching up. So the way these races work when they're split up is that the top five drivers from the B group pre-final, which is the first of the two races that everyone does, would be promoted to the A group final, but that also means that I'd be guaranteed to start at the back of that race, and the best that I could do points wise for the first race would be getting the points for finishing in 28th place. Even by winning the B group pre-final, that still counts for 28th place overall. So I figured that if I could win this race, thereby sort of proving I had the pace to be in the A group, and given it was the track's mistake that I was in the B group in the first place, maybe I could make a good argument for being put straight into the A group pre-final, basically the A group version of this race right now. Then I'd have the opportunity to make up some places and score some more points before the final, rather than just accepting 28th place and starting at the back. But I couldn't realistically make that argument if I couldn't even win the B group race. And after all the crashing in the first lap, which to be fair is probably more down to inexperience with some of the drivers in this group rather than outright malice, I had a bit of work to do to catch up to the leader. When I got into second I was around 3 seconds behind and it took me about 3 laps before I was you know, right on his rear bumper again. And I also had a cart disadvantage to contend with as well after I noticed him able to pull away from me on the straights pretty easily despite being right on his rear bumper in the slipstream. 
I'd still managed to catch up significantly though and again it was probably a little bit of an experience on his part with this but as soon as I got close he started looking back at me sort of way too much and lost even more speed by defending too much when it wasn't necessary so in the end once I was close it wasn't long before I got in front with a fairly straightforward move up the inside into the chicane and from then I was just able to sort of manage the pace until the end. I'd basically done all I could do at that point and I then had to go plead my case to race control to see if I could get bumped up to the A group straight away rather than waiting for the final race. And thankfully they agreed with my assessment of the situation and I was allowed to join on the back of the A group pre-final. So from this point on the two races that you're about to see are what you've gotten used to in the previous episodes. It's just like I've qualified in last place essentially. But at least I had a chance to improve. The, obviously the only thing was that I'd already just done a race and I was put straight into this race without any kind of break. Normally there's you know breaks in between the races while another race is happening to get a drink or whatever and I hadn't had that so I was already you know pretty tired going into going into this one but hey I had to just do the best that I could and see what I could get out of it because anything would it's going to be a bonus on top of you know just settling for what I had. Interestingly in the end I think two people didn't actually end up participating in this race that's why I started in 26th rather than in 28th so ultimately in the end they could have just had everybody together with 35 but obviously once they'd started with the two groups they had to continue with that. So yeah obviously this first lap is just you, you know usual argy bargy I'm, I'm at the back of the pack um, in, in total there's 37 people that I'm uh, in, you know I've got in the position counter but I'm still close to the back in terms of the fact that there's only 26 of that 37 in this race so yeah I'm just kind of feeling my way through and just seeing where I can make some overtakes and expecting that to be the case for the rest of the race because you know that that's I'm hoping I can make places but it's gonna take a bit of time but then I get a little bit of luck where there's all sorts of craziness going on in front and I'm able to basically make up four positions in one corner and uh, yeah I mean I'll take that and, and I'm allowed to go on my way and, and push on for even higher positions. I did get a little whack to my side for my trouble though which wasn't great but hey what can you do I'll take the positions for a bit of a bit of pain. So coming on to the end of lap 3, I'm in 19th place, which to be fair, that's not too bad of a comeback already considering I was down in 31st at one point, especially at the start of the, the previous race. And I feel like I'm quicker than a few of the guys in front of me, certainly, uh, but, but as you can see, I'm having to again contend with the fact that some people are quicker on the straights. Um, and also... The, the way that this has worked out is quite interesting because the guy directly in front of me now as I you know was just a bit opportunistic with being able to make that overtake on uh, the guy in the white suit who had a much quicker cart in a straight line the, the person in the black and orange he's actually in the cart that I had for the qualifying that I set my qualifying lap in that I got rid of immediately so and my cart that I'm in right now is definitely a little bit quicker than his so you know it was a good decision to make that change for the qualifying because the cart that he's in is not not great honestly um, and if even I'm quicker than it but I'm getting overtaken and left behind on the straights from other people so you know it, it was it was a good decision because I could tell that it just wasn't very good but obviously I can't I can't control the fact that I didn't get my lap times for the, the new cart there's nothing I can do about that so yeah, I, I know that I'm quicker than the guy in front because it, it just seems like the speed isn't there for him in a straight line, but the speed's also not there for me in a straight line, as you can see, that we, you know, we both, that's a double overtake that one guy just did in one single straight. So even though my cart seems quicker than his in front, there are other carts that are significantly quicker than that, it seems. So the person who's just passed us Obviously, I'm, I'm not looking at being able to get in front of him at all because he was just so much faster. Maybe he got involved in an incident or something and he's going back through the pack. But yeah, there's no way I'm catching that. But I do feel like I'm quicker than these two in front. And I managed to get up the inside here to be able to get up into 18th place. 
and I, th I feel like I'm going to be able to at least pressure the, the guy in front of me now for 17th for the remainder of the race. Coming on to the end of lap 8, you can see that I'm right behind and I've been here for a few laps now, just, you know, hurrying a little bit, trying to see where I can make an overtake. I, I look a little bit on the inside there, but it wasn't really going to happen. I wasn't far enough up the inside, but I certainly feel like I've got the, the speed on, on this guy in terms of uh, the cornering at least, because the carts that we're in do seem relatively uh, well matched on a straight, you know, I'm, I'm right behind him here and there's no real change of, of position during the course of the full straight so relatively evenly matched in terms of the car performance and now it's just a case of trying to find a way past which I feel like I should be able to do or at least I'm going to give it a go um, and this is where I get a nice little run doing a different line through the corner get a nice little run up the inside here and I'm able to get up the inside and get that 17th place that's where my uh, 10 minute first 10 minutes of the camera uh, cut out and restarted again so we didn't get the full shot of that but yeah it, basically I got the move done up the inside and uh, uh, and then for the rest of the race I was basically just sort of defending my position from from him and I gained a, an extra spot there as someone I don't know whether his card cut out or something like that or he was off and got knocked off on the grass but ultimately because of that extra position I ended up finishing in 16th place the guy who I had overtaken earlier he did sort of give me a nudge in that final corner towards the line but I was able to keep it and do you know what 16th from 31st across two races I'll take that that's not a bad comeback at all so now the question was, would I be able to make even more progress in the final? And it, it, again, it all depends on what kind of cart you're going to get, whether you're going to get lucky, get the roll of the dice, you know, decent roll of the dice and get a quick one or not. It was interesting what, you know, me and Callum were talking about this uh, on this round that, you know, you don't really think about it this way, but half of the carts, you know, are, are going to be worse than the other half. So 50% of the time, you're gonna get a cart that's worse than the other 50% of the carts. So, it, it you know, out apart from the outliers, the very few that are you know a little bit quicker, and a very, the very few that are uh, sort of significantly slower. In that sort of mid pack, most of the carts are going to be fairly similar. But yeah, you've got to expect that at least half of the time, uh, 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 you know, if everything averages out as it should you're going to be in a cart that's that's worse than what other people have so yeah it's it's been a, a certainly a pretty dodgy first lap of this final as you've seen um all sorts of crashing and tires flying everywhere and i was able to get three places on the back straight there so up into 14th place obviously you start the final in the position that you finished the pre-final so i started in 16th because that's where i finished uh, the previous race but then you know, so it was a decent first lap to get into 14th, but then it quickly became apparent that I was going to be up against it. You know, I, 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 I lost a position there on the inside pretty easily uh, in terms of straight the straight, and that happens a few more times around the course of this second lap. So it was it was kind of, you know, after, after uh, last month where I, I had a really bad final race and I was kind of down on myself because I, I I just wasn't defending my position you know I was so weak in terms of giving my position away and that was kind of the same as what happened on this second lap it, it, you know, I, I got overtaken relatively easily and I wasn't really putting up too much of a fight now it's difficult when you just get someone launch up the inside of you like that and you're also you know pretty down on power but again 50% of the time you're going to be in a cart that's worse than half of the field so you need to just deal with that and, and this was where I kind of that that sort of hit me that okay I'm going to have to fight for this I've put in so much work during these two races to get even into this position in the first place let's not do what I did last time let's actually fight for this and let's see if I can get back some of that defending capability and ability that I had you know back in 2014 and 2015 because obviously I showed none of it last month so again you know I was down in 20th place here at this point obviously I got again overtaken on the straight on the outside uh, from the guy in the white suit but at this point uh, throughout the lap I was realizing that hey I'm quicker than this guy in the corners I, I am doing a lot better than this guy in the corners so 
maybe I can, you know, try to fight for it. Even though he's obviously got a quicker cart in a straight line, let's see what I can do. And I do manage to get up into 19th place before the chicane. Uh, again, just up the inside and, uh, and was able to take that position away. And then I'm on the de pure defensive mode at this point. I'm on the inside of the corner and this is pretty much for the remainder of the race, the mindset that I'm in. Always on the inside, always defending my position because I know that I'm not going to be able to keep a position. If I just do my normal lines, especially on the straight, and I allow someone up the inside like I did at the start of the se second lap, I'm just going to get overtaken. At least if I'm on the inside coming down the final, the main straight like this, it's a lot more difficult for people to go all the way around the outside of that first corner as you saw you know the guy was right on the uh, the left of me you saw him in the camera but he wasn't able to make an overtake he's got to have a significant you know speed differential to be able to make that work to be able to get around the outside so at this point i'm in full defensive mode and I'm kind of embracing it a little bit. I'm kind of thinking, hey, I needed some practice. I needed the practice to defend my position from after last month and the disappointment that I had there that I was just so weak in my defense that, hey, I'll just embrace this opportunity to practice my defending. Why not? You know, silver linings and all that. So yeah, that, that was pretty much the mindset that I was in. But I was aware that, you know, the guys in front, they, they weren't that much quicker as I was looking at it you know during the course of this lap there and they were also still battling between themselves so at this point I obviously go to defend but then I tap my helmet um, point forward and tap the back of my cart to say hey let's work together you've obviously got a quicker cart in a straight I knew I was quicker in the corners because I'd passed him on the previous lap gained a little place there by the way that was just from someone uh, off the side of the track but you know my, my point was let's work together think about it tap tap the side of my helmet you know have a think about it let's actually work together because i can sit here and defend you all day but that's going to lose both of us time at least if he was to sort of get on my back bumper and push us both forward i'm we might both be able to catch up to the guys ahead push on for you know a top 15 even closer to the top 10 depending on how the race goes and if if more argy bargy happens further up in front but it became immediately apparent um, by the end of that straight that he wasn't planning to do that because he moved out to the outside again and tried to, you know, overtake me around the outside, which obviously wasn't going to work. So, yeah, at that point, again, I just thought, OK, well, fine, you've made your bed, you're going to lie in it. I'm going to defend as hard as I possibly can and, and you know, make you wish you'd d decided to, to help me and go along with it. Unfortunately, that didn't last too long because his cart was so fast on the straight that he was able to get around the outside and that speed differential was there. So after all that, you know, it, it, he, he, it seemed like, oh, maybe he made the right decision to not help me in the first place and not work together. But again, I was quicker in the corners. I was definitely doing better in the corners, just like I was in the early stages of the lap. I knew that. And do you know what? I wasn't going to give this up. I was going to fight for everything. <laughs> because if, it's, if, I, if I let him buy, then the next lap I let someone else buy, then the next lap I let someone else buy. You know, I've got to fight for every single thing that I can. So I'm right on his back bumper going into the hairpin here. He doesn't really know that I'm there. And I get a lovely move up the inside. And I was pretty proud about that one, to be honest. And I'm back in 18th and I've taken the position back again. So that was like okay yeah maybe you should have actually helped and we could have pushed on together but uh, and then there was all sorts of stuff going on behind me obviously that i can't show you just because i don't have a camera facing backwards and again i'm only allowed to have a camera inside the helmet i can't have cameras on the cart or on my person inside the helmet is all i'm allowed so yeah i i was aware as i was looking back during this race that different people from this point on were, were sort of behind me because you know the, I had a massive train of carts behind me basically and different people were uh, in those you know, those positions as they were all battling for themselves and I was just you know parking the bus if you like and not being able to be overtaken by whoever it was that was behind I didn't care who was behind me I was just going to be defending my position again just for a bit more practice and and to try to build up a bit more confidence with that and do you know what i really did I w and i was really happy with the way that this race went not in terms of 
overall you know position by the end of it because i just didn't have a cart that was ever going to be able to push forward more than this really but because i could have quite easily lost a lot of positions you know i could have easily been in the bottom 20s uh closer to 30 than you know 20 and if if i'd if i'd been as weak as i was this time last month in terms of my defending so it was nice to get that back again and get that feel back and realize that hey yeah i can still defend my position and i'll take advantage of you know overtakes like that where i don't actually have to do anything but other than just stay in the race and and uh, attrition will give me a few positions every now and then and that happened a few times actually in the uh, final part of the race so i ended up coming onto the final few laps in 16th place and I was pretty happy with how I was defending. I got hit in the back during this race more times than any other, so probably showing that I'm doing a good job. But I ended up losing a position towards the end by an absolute rocket ship of a cart that just went straight past me and was ahead of me before the, fi the first corner even was finished. So nothing I can really do about that. You know, He's kind of all over the place in terms of his cornering, but the cart is so fast on the straight that I was never going to be able to defend that. But ultimately I ended up finishing in 17th place so that was only losing one position from where I started in a car to the that had no right to be there really so it's even though it wasn't a continuation of my comeback in this round from sort of you know 31st place in that very first race it wasn't going on and getting even more positions in the final it was at least a bit of a comeback of me rediscovering my skills you know a continuation of rediscovering my skills and and getting some of that back from the 2014 and 2015 days ultimately i was you know i, I got i got some points at least for this round and i had a bit of fun and hey i got to do three races rather than the usual two so at least i got my money's worth but uh yeah hopefully i can uh, try to get back into that top 10 next month Anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you've all enjoyed. Let me know all your thoughts down below, and I hope uh, I hope it was a fun one to watch. Thank you guys, as always, for the incredible support, and I'll see you next time.